we'll show you how to put a little extra spring in your step today on The Express. So we've got something going on today's show. Something making, creating our body. Tangle Bank's beautiful spring containers. <laughs> We're tangled the Tangle Bank. The magical experience of Cavalia. Cavalia is a show like no other, and I can't explain it. We can do whatever we want, really, unless the client wants something specific. Dell Kicks, hand-painted custom shoes. Last night we did a hip-hop show. Uh, last Friday night we did a Johnny Cash show. The music scene at the Queen's Hotel. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express. I'm Joe Hanna Ward at Tangle Bank Gardens in Abbotsford. Now, I'm sure you've seen the ads. They've been everywhere. With the signature white horse, Cavalia is causing quite a stir in the city. It opened this week with over 30,000 tickets sold. And we're giving you a backstage look at this magical show of human and horse. Some people call Sylvia Zerbini a horse whisperer but she prefers you call her a horse listener. Sylvia is working with an Arabian horse. She's doing what we call liberty training. The horse don't understand a lot of words, so she is training the horses more with the movement and uh, with some, some sounds. Uh, she speaks French to them, even if she's American. Uh, so most of the horse here speak French. Sylvia is part of Cavalia, the multimedia and multidisciplinary production that showcases actors, dancers, acrobats, riders, and of course, horses. Cavalia is a show like no other. It's, it's hard for me. I've been working with the company for two and a half years, and I can't explain it. It's a feeling that you get. I mean, the beauty of the horses, working on an immense stage. We have talented acrobats from around the world that um, display different, unique art and the, the, the relationship that we share with the horse. And the show is based around the horse. And so it should be. Cavalia has 49 equine performers from 12 different breeds doing everything from Roman riding to dressage. But it's Sylvia's unique relationship with the Arabian horses that is perhaps most compelling. And the artists work with sign, movement, and uh, words, or a few sounds. So that's what we call liberty. So they're a group and they like to be together as a group and they considered Sylvia as their leader but the Arabian they are very playful you're gonna see I mean they and they like to run and they like to be together keeping the horses mental awareness is the most important It's preserving their horse mental is the most important for me the behaviors that you see are hardly ever executed backstage everything I do is on stage to keep them interested in performing, these horses spend about six months a year at Cavalia's property outside of Montreal, just being horses. It's particularly important when your horses are this intelligent. I feel like the Arabs are more playful than other horses, and they say that the Arab has a larger uh, brain than the other horses. I'm Erin Shaw in Vancouver for The Express. Cavalia's run in Vancouver has been extended an extra week. You can see it until April 17th under the big white top at Olympic Village. I love spring. All of the new shows and all of the flowers. And we're getting some green thumb advice here at Tangle Bank Gardens in Abbotsford. The spring containers, they look so posh. Thank you. You promise it's really easy to do? It's really <laughs> easy to do. Absolutely anybody can do it, even if you've got uh, no green thumbs. Clean thumbs. Clean thumbs. We're going to start here with an achorus. When I see pots like roots like this in the pot, I always tease them out a little bit so that they grow into the soil. And this is one of my favorite plants. This is a hellebore. This one is Vancouver medallion. It was named for the Olympics last year. Oh, wow. I always think of a Mexican fiesta when I say yeah. hookah. This one is actually hookah. A gun smoke. La and it's evergreen. No pot is complete without a daffodil. So now we've got our pink heather. Oh, that is beautiful and that, too. I hey? mean, heather is a great plant because it blooms for literally months. Hmm. So you're working with varying degrees of height, right? And that's We're part working of it. with varying degrees of height. And we're looking for a contrast in foliage okay. 
and colors. So we've got something going up, something making, creating our body of our plant, and then we're gonna have something hanging okay. over the side. Hence the ivy. Hence the ivy. There we go. We've got pansies. Pansies. More color. And this is what really gives, as you're calling it interest, it's true, and it really gives it that posh look, though, that we're talking it about. Does. It takes it from being like, you know, I've got Just some pansies in a Just an everyday container to, to yeah. something that's dramatic. Yes. Whoops, we're tangled here. As we should be. Tangle bank. Yeah, tangle bank. <laughs> we're tangled in tangle bank. You can make your own spring container with your own creative concoction here at Tangle Bank Gardens in Abbotsford. They're having a workshop on April the 2nd. Now, right now, we have a whole different kind of creativity on the Express. The story goes, a local teen was bored when she got grounded, so she painted her shoes. And here's what happened next. They're cute and one of a kind, and teenagers love them. Del Kicks are the brainchild of teen Del Hagetour, who started painting her shoes when she got grounded. I took a white pair of shoes that I had and completely destroyed them. Some friends saw it and they liked it and they approached me to paint their shoes. And the orders just kept coming in for the hand-painted shoes. So Del started her own business and her friends became her business partners. So we, we just kind of broke it up to uh, who likes doing what and who's good at doing what. I can't paint, <laughs> so I didn't want to you know, all the other stuff I could do, which is the business end. Dell also enlisted the help of three other artists. I think it's just really creative because we can do whatever we want, really, unless the client wants something specific. Do you want a different color? Do you want a different design? We can do it. The company just released a Vancouver line that will be sold by a local shoe store. It's like a Vancouver theme. I picked kind of the more specific things that I knew about Vancouver that I thought was really significant. So like the steam clock, downtown, and then Grouse Mountain. Oh, and don't worry about wearing them out on a rainy day in Vancouver. The question we always get is, what happens if I wear it in the rain? I live in Vancouver, I've been wearing my shoes almost every day, nothing has happened. With dozens of orders a month, these ambitious teens could soon get Dell kicks on some famous feet. And they already have a couple of celebs in mind. I think Johnny Depp. He's got character. He also plays different roles and it's kind of representative of her shoes. Uh, probably Justin Bieber. He has all the girls running after him, so I'm sure that uh, it would do the business some good. I think Tim Burton, because he's just like my idol, because he's so creative and he's so wacky, and I could just go all out with the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely want to expand it up some more and just maybe hire a couple more artists around and, you know, just build on it and see where it goes from there. It's really fun, and I think that it's going to grow as big as we want it to. I'm Bianca Salterbeck in West Vancouver for The Express. The Dell Kicks team donates 10% of all their profits to charity. Right now, the money is going to earthquake relief efforts in Japan. And the website's dellkicks.ca. You're watching The Express. We've got more local talent and trends coming up. After the break... Live music at the Queen's Hotel. It is one of the only venues in British Columbia that has live music every day of the week, every day of the year. Wedding styles you love to hate. My father said, no way, you're not wearing this dress. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.